I think that one of the interesting things about uh, Xi's uh, uh, leadership of the Chinese Communist Party is that there has been quite a, a dynamic process uh, of uh, new thinking, new ideas, which have informed you know, chi Chinese dream, common aspirations for humanity, uh, 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 and, and so on, and common prosperity. Now we have, uh, as you say, uh, um, the question of a concept of Chinese modernization. And I think this is important, and it does reflect the ability of the Chinese Communist Party to give expression to and leadership to, to China. China's great uh, aspiration was to, was to modernize, to be able to be on a par with the West. Of course, but by and large, the, the, the object was to achieve the, a Western level of development. Because ever since the British Industrial Revolution, the West had set the bar for modernization uh, uh, for the world. But now China's almost arrived at that point uh, in its own development. Um, then it has to ask another question, a different question. What is the nature of our modernization? Then China is asking a different question, I think which is, we're not seeking to, you know, modernization is not simply arriving at a Western level of development. It is what should be the nature of our society now and, and, the, and the objective of our modernization. I think that uh, th this is a moment in some ways of, uh, what should we say, intellectual liberation uh, for China, uh, that it can now think uh, on a much on a much wider canvas. It's not just going to uh, imitate, copy, or ape the West. Now, you know, it's got entirely new possibilities. And I think this will, and so, so I think it does open up the possibility as well uh, of China uh, providing the world with lots of new ideas and new ways of thinking and new objectives.